welcomed behind the music. This week for Daily Hope, I'm doing something a little different. Instead of talking about a piece of music or something like that, I wanted to share a little bit with you about this organ, our Bigelow Pipe Organ here at Victory. You may have read in the newsletter or heard Pastor Steve mention this weekend that we're having some repairs that need to be done for this organ. So I just wanted to explain a little bit to you about how it's built, how it's made, what makes it so special, and also what we need to do to ensure that it continues to service for many, many years to come. This is called a tracker mechanical pipe organ, which means that everything in this instrument is completely mechanical except for the blower. The blower is powered by electricity, where historically we would have had people pumping, but for our for our day and time, we're using electricity to power the blower. But everything else, there's no electricity in this organ. It's all connected by wood or leather or metal, things like that. All these renewable resources that we can continue to use. Now, it's called a tracker because they're these little thin trackers that connect the key all the way to the pipe through a very cool system. So when I press the key, it goes down. A lot of things move and the pipe opens, the air goes through, and we have sound. Something that's very cool that separates a mechanical action organ from an electronic pipe organ is that I do have this control over the organ. Now, on an electric pipe organ, you press the key, which hits a contact. It goes through a wire to another contact, which opens it. So it's on or off, on or off. But on this organ, I have full control of how quickly or slowly the pipe is open. Now you don't want to do it too slow because that's going to sound a little weird, but listen to this. as a musician is like the difference between playing a piano and playing a cheap keyboard. I know you've probably, if you play piano at all, you have had these little keyboards where you just click, 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 click. And it's not as rewarding as when you sit down at a piano that gives you response. You feel the weight and things like that. And so it's the same way on an organ. For me, when I'm playing this instrument, it responds to how quick I touch or how slowly I press. And it's much more of a relationship between me and the instrument than just with something that would be electronic. Another cool thing is that because we don't have technology, that every piece that breaks can be made by a craftsman and replaced. It's not, oh, that component isn't made anymore, or we can't order that piece from China anymore. Everything is unique and recreatable if we need to replace it, which is very, very cool. The area where the pipes sit on the organ is called the wind chest, and I have the doors open here. We don't usually see this on Sunday, because you can see here where the pipes are sitting on the wind chest. Every pipe has a little hole that it sits into, and then there are sliders that run underneath. So I'm gonna invite you to come around to the side of the organ with me, and you're gonna be able to see how that actually works, how the slider opens and lets the wind into the pipe. I have a diagram to show you a little bit about how the wind chest with the channel underneath where the air runs and how the slider opens and how the holes line up. So there's holes in the wind chest and then there's holes in the sliders. And when there's no air going into the pipes, it's like this, and then when you move the stop, then they line up and the air goes, and ta-da, we have music. I just thought you might like to see how it works on this organ, too. This is for the top manual. If I pull out this stop here, like this, if you look over here, this moves up. Everything's mechanical. And then if you look closely, you can see the slider is moving. It's signaling to the air that this is the rank of pipes that we're going to be using. So everything has cause and effect. We just have to follow how that works. Now, I bet all of you have had something that shrunk on you. Maybe it was a piece of clothing that said dry clean only, but you tossed it in the wash, then you tried to wear it and it was too short. Maybe, I know my kids do this, they leave their rubber shoes outside in the sun and then they shrink and they can't wear them anymore. The same thing happens with natural materials like leather and wood. In the case of our sliders, they have over time gradually been shrinking. So now, even though you've moved them, the holes don't line up. So what the builders are going to have to do when they come to repair the organ is replace those sliders so that they're the right size again. The new sliders will last a very, very, very long time. So we're confident that this is a choice that we want to make at Victory. But let me just show you the effect that it's having at the console so you know why we need to have this done. Okay, I'm back at the console now. 
The largest pipes on our organ are called the Prestant pipes. Prestant 16. I can play it either here in the manual, or it also can be used on the pedal, which is coupled to some louder noises, sorry. So these are the pipes in the front of the organ. As I said, the sliders are beginning to shrink, and that's going to progress across the organ. If we waited long enough over time, they would all shrink just enough that we didn't work. But for now, we've lost lowest C, lowest D, lowest E, is very sluggish because his hole is still kind of opening, but not quite there yet. And so the same is true on the pedals. I don't have these low notes in the pedals. For now, I'm able to make it work by using other stops or avoiding those notes. But this is a problem that's going to progress across the keyboard, across the pedals, and we want to make sure that future generations, as well as us now, are able to enjoy the full range of this instrument. So in October, the original builder of this organ, Bigelow Pipe Organ Company, is going to be coming to do the repair work on the organ. This is a colossal task. It involves taking the pipes off so that they can get to the windchest to get to the sliders. The organ is going to be out of commission for several weeks. We'll still be able to have worship in here. We'll just use piano or something. It'll be fine. But we, the builders, the staff, you, can all be confident that in the end, the organ is going to be in better shape than it has ever been before. Every little bit that you can give to help in this process will be greatly appreciated. If we all pool our resources, then we'll be able to make this happen. This organ was installed in 1988. The original members at Victory had a passion for quality music. We continue to have a passion for good music here in worship. And so I just thank you so much for your support of everything that we do here at Victory. I look forward to being with you again next week, and uh, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the Bigelow Pipe Organ.